Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're looking at a massive solar blast and when the cannon will be facing our planet. We've got pre-earthquake signal science and a bombshell on the galactic current sheet and the Radcliffe wave. But let's get started with the last 24 hours on our star, where things were utterly quiet except for top left near the 10 or 11 o'clock position, a huge CME release on the far side with a coronal ripple shockwave coming over into our visibility. We're going to go over the major solar uptick that may be on deck next week, but first the coronal hole stream in the solar wind is persisting. Speed has continued to rise slowly and only into moderate intensity levels of plasma pressure. The medium strength of the stream and the slow onset have left us mostly in the green geomagnetically, minor level one solar storm condition for a few hours overnight. Now folks, 10 days ago, these big sunspots went over the limb to the far side out of our view. They didn't produce much while on the earth facing half of the sun, but then almost immediately, they began firing big CMEs on the far side. We can see them here on Soho Lasco C3 and all of the big full halo and dense plasma CMEs were driven by those active regions. Their solar flaring, which likely reached up into the X-class range, continued for the last several days and you can see how the bigger CME events appear to be turning as the trajectory follows the sunspots around the far side and this morning the massive shock wave ripple the huge far side CME was exactly those same spots those active regions are almost all the way around the back almost back to facing Earth. Still very much alive and pushing huge plasma mass in those eruptions, scary levels of density in some of them, including the Titanic blast from this morning, which we'll get a better look at close up here in several wavelengths. Somewhere between a moon and a planet of material blasted out, gorgeous and terrible. It's returning in the next few days. Eyes open. Quick note to keep an eye on this team. They're actually going to attempt to use the mountain of information of pre-seismic signals to predict seismic activity. Been waiting and calling for this for a very long time. I'll even probably get back into forecasting more during sunspot minimum, but no need for anyone to wait if they can pull the trigger now. Good luck to this crew. And today's top story, the Radcliffe Wave, one of the most incredible features in our galaxy. The wave of stars, clearly perturbed by something, and given its proximity to our sun, the chances are that these forms are everywhere, we just can't notice other ones yet. More importantly though, a new study has come out and suggests that the wave is the result of the Parker instability of the galactic magnetic field threading through the plane. The interstellar magnetic field or galactic field of the central plane, much like the interplanetary magnetic field in the solar system, does prime this rippling wave-like activity and for people at this channel, the galactic version of the Parker instability work galactic magnetic field is the galactic current sheet the galactic magnetic reversal point, the thing also causing the cyclical disaster and magnetic pole shift we are in right now. Folks, tickets to our winter tour are going quickly. First one is less than a month away in Omaha, Nebraska, and tickets are available below. What is this? It's a four-hour masterclass on surviving this coming disaster event on Earth, dealing with the magnetic pole shift and everything that's coming with it. Five cities in five months. This is what it's all about. Get your tickets at the link below. Just a few events left this year at Observer Ranch. Self-offense training November 1st after the Halloween event. That is going to be fun in two days. Observer speed dating 2.0 November 7th and 8th. Come find your prepper princess or post-apocalyptic warlord. The film premiere and last pole shift conference of the year is middle of the month and August Dunning will be there for that. Come out for the end of our rookie season. ObserverRanch.com we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.